The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, and Subarai Productions. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the RumorCast. Yes! Marcus and Jacob here, and Matt is sadly not feeling well today, so he will not be joining us. But we had our press conference yes. for Zen Kaiger. And it came on at a good time, because I actually got to watch the whole thing. Oh, did you? Came on like 10. I was like, sweet. I did not watch the first conference, so everything that I'm about to see, I am experiencing for the first time. Yes. Now, we're going to talk about, like, the actual people second. Like, the actual characters. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the uh, writing staff and all of that first. Oh, okay. Because... At least for us, that's where a lot of the suffers are coming from. Mm -hmm. Because they got to see who's doing the show proper. So, we're going to start with the writer. Now, for the writer, we have Junko Kimura. Mm -hmm. uh, she has written a couple of things uh, for, like, a couple episodes of Go Onger, rather, the Go Onger Geki Ranger special, a couple episodes of Go Sager. She's written a lot for Go Kaiser. She also has a writer, writing credits for Sue Oger, for yep. Kamen Rider Wizard. Well. I'm just, I'm just listening. Well, I, I think on that one she was the secondary writer, so she was trying, well, mm -hmm. the writer wasn't there. Uh, four episodes of Drive. Uh, let's see, a couple of anime credits as well. Uh, yeah, she wrote 16 episodes of Gokaiger. Yep. Uh, six episodes of Akiba Ranger. <laughs> Best thing you can do. Um, she's written some J-drama. Like just straight J drama. She's got. Did I see she one write my favorite that. episode? Of... Or uh, I, I believe it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie called "Be Crazy About Me" from 2012. She wrote that. She wrote my favorite episode of Akiba Ranger. Oh, did she? With the the drunk. The drunk. Oh, she wrote that. <laughs> she wrote the drunk episode. Well, we know she's got the comedic chops. That and episode. She wrote the Wizard Guy movie. Well. <laughs> Um, I'm just I'm just listening. What's here? Bima X. Have you ever heard of this? Yes, I have heard of Bima X. She's she's got a writing credit on that. Gak was in that for an episode or two. Get out. Gak's in everything. He has his own YouTube channel. If you haven't followed him, he is an insane person. Oh, who ages backwards? Oh, that that's true. <laughs> but it looks like her big. We got 33 episodes of Zero Odor, but also, and I think this might be where you might feel the most comfortable. 33 episodes of Lupat. So she's good. Which I believe is your favorite Sentai. It's one of them. One of them, at least. She can do very good in character-focused stuff, but we also saw how Zoo Ogier did. But she also yeah. did Loop Pat. Everyone's got a bad day at the office. Yeah. Hers is called Zoo Ogier. <laughs> she wrote 20 episodes of Wizard. Is how many she wrote. Well, you win some, you write Wizard. <laughs> no, I mean, also 16 episodes of Go Kaiger, 6 episodes of Akiba Rangers, 4 episodes of Go Sager. Her first credit is, is, is an episode of Go Onger. Yeah. So, we'll see how that pans out, and who do we have next? Our director, Shojiro Nakazawa, who has been around for a while, but he hasn't really done anything as a main director. He did main director of Gaki Ranger, main director of Shinkenger. Um, Nin Ninja, whoops. Um, <laughs> Zoldier, Lupat, a couple episodes of Rear Soldier. So. He's got 41 director credits, on, according to IMDb. He's done two episodes of Saber, 11 oh. episodes of Zero One, uh, let's see, three episodes of Ryu Soldier, 15 episodes of Blue Bat, uh, eight episodes of Build, 13 episodes of X Aid. He directed True Ending of X Aid. Seven episodes of Zoo Oger, eleven episodes of Nin Ninja, eleven episodes of Kyoryuger, seven episodes of Wizard. We go back. His his directorial debut, guess which Sentai it was? Time Ranger. You're right. I know because I have that. I know. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> Let that be a guess for you all as well. But yeah, Gal Ranger, Abba Ranger. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find any non Togo credits on here, but it looks like that's all he's done. Usually, when, at least for Japan, when they end up having a certain type of director role, they end up getting, I'm not going to say shoehorn or pigeonholed into it, but they might prefer to do something True, like that, until he just constantly calls on them. Fair enough. But since, yeah, since 2000, he's been working consistently in the field, so. Yeah. 
Now, for this will be really like our last big one. So we have Shinichiro Shirakura, who is producing this, mm-hmm. and he hasn't produced anything in a while. Well, he did a Cure User Brave. Oops. Uh, he was an advisor on Q-Ranger, but it's like he did Jetman, Z-Ranger, Diamond, he was the producer of those three in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's going to be very interesting. Also, I do want to talk about one other thing. The music composer. He got his start with Z-Ranger. Yeah. Huh. Well, Jetman. He did Jetman. So, I'm looking at IMDb. But... Yeah. I want to talk about the music director, simply because it's just a thing. Um, Chume Watanabe. He did the music for every Sentai season between Go Ranger and Goggle 5. He's 95 this year. And he came back and said, I'm going to do the music for this show. Now, did he say that, or did, or do you think they want to go for more Showa-inspired music so they would sought him out? Might have been a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Because I feel like that's the, the uh, other one. But he had a video during the... Um, like the press conference. Looks like he was. Looks like uh, Shirakawa was the lead producer on Decade. Mm, yeah, because he's because uh, it's just thirty one episodes of that. He did. He did the first and the next three episodes of Kabuto, three to, three episodes of Deno, a bunch of movies, like just regular movies, not just Toku. So yeah, guy works. Yeah, Jume uh, Jume Watanabe. That's gonna be a very. It's gonna have a very show of feel. To the music, mm-hmm. I am okay with that as long as it sounds like dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's like if you do that, you're golden. <laughs> That's it. That was a great song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. But yeah, it's interesting that we have, especially someone who's almost a hundred, coming back and doing the. The guy has a hundred and thirty-seven composer credits. Yeah, he just does a lot. And the last one that he's credited with an IMDb was the Gavin movie mm, back yeah. in t- back in 2012. And his first listed credit is like, he's he's done a bunch of movies, Super Janjatsu, <laughs> one of his uh, earlier Toku ones. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, this guy has done so much, a lot of music, so so much music for so many movies, not just Toku. He had 90. He did in, he did the Nazman, Great Mazinger. Yeah, he did everything from like 75 to about 80. He just did everything. Yeah, Go Ranger, was. Jakku. He did Supaidaman. Yeah. He did Supaidaman. He did Battle Fever J. He was 50 when he did that. Mm-hmm. So it's like seeing him come back 45 years later to do this. Yeah. At 95. This man is almost 100. He was just like, I don't give a damn. It's time to get to work. And so he did. <laughs> and so he is. Yeah. So it's going to be very interesting to hear the musical score while watching the show. Which yes. Be older, but I'm just like with the way that well, what is, Kaiser looks. What do you? Because you think about because I can't remember if we touched on this much in our uh, musical scores in Toku Toku Talk, but we when you think about music from that era, it is very chant heavy. Not so much chant heavy, but there is a. Like, you can really tell that's where it's from. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of brass instruments. Yeah. A lot of brass, you know, like... It's it's very poppy. It's very happy. Once we end up getting to... Well, we're going to do Zubat soon. So it's yeah. going to be very interesting to see that. Yeah. Because it's something tells me he did the music. So it's going to be a I lot of see fun. see on there, but I, who knows. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited to get back to some of the older stuff. I just... I want to see the insanity. Yeah. Freaking the dice. We, we shall see. The dice. So is that the last of our uh, crew that we're going to go through? Yes. We'll leave this over. So. Um, we get to talk about, like, the actual main character. Okay. Kaito uh, Goshikida. Uh, who will end up being Zen Kaiser. Uh-huh. He seems a little bit more low key. The way that they described him was like, I expected him to be super hot blooded, but the way that he actually made the character sound, his voice is a little deeper. He's only like 20. Okay. But um, his voice is a little bit deeper. So he has a very young face, though. He's 20. I know. <laughs> He'll be 20 he looks one. like he could pass for a teenager. Yeah. But I like the fact that, you know, it doesn't seem like, especially from what we saw in the trailer, I'll show you this trailer after this. Yeah. Um, he just seems older. Yeah. Like, at least in personality. So he's not super hot-blooded or anything like that. So I'm perfectly 
perfectly okay with that because you know how I feel about the hot bloodedness. Mm. And yeah. he is being played by. Do we know the actor's name? Yes. Uh, Kita Kamag- uh, Kamagi. Is this his first role? As far as I could tell, there was rumor that it was going to end up being um, somebody from an episode of Kira Major. But apparently not. Hmm. But I'm also still okay with that. Okay, we know about the bird. I'm trying to find... Is that the mascot? Sort of. His grandmother is the one who made his transformation device. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, she's like uh, some well-known singer. Uh, but yeah, she doesn't have a page in here. I had to find her picture afterwards. Um, Yatsude. That's Yoshida. the name of the character. Oh, okay. Yeah. But we know that his mother and father are somewhere, but his grandmother... His grandmother, like, they showed her in the trailer fighting alongside him because his grandmother gave no shits. And I approve of I that. am always here to see an old lady throw down. I am completely not here for so, that. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. But yeah, uh, so that's our main character. Now, for the actual robots that are fighting alongside him, they don't have ranger forms, but they do have civilian forms. Uh, so... This is Red. Juran. Yes. Voiced by, uh, I don't think this is the actual. We're going to pause for a quick second. Okay. So it's not there. Oh, right. Okay. So they are doing the actual voice actors on here as well. So, coming back. All right. So, you know, all their voice actors, of course, are known for a lot of anime works. Yeah, I'm looking at the. I'm looking at uh, Shintaro Asanuma is playing Juran. Yes, our Red, um, who you know has voiced a lot of characters. Um, He's been acting as far about acting as far back as 20, 2006. Yeah, uh, a lot of people might know him best for Kuromochi Yoichi from Ace of Diamond. Hmm. Uh, which I think is one of his bigger roles, and I guess Kazuya Yamamura. He was in. He was in Akemega Kill. He was in Assassination Classroom. Ah, hello, Tokyo Rose. Ghoul, uh, Psychopaths, uh, Bills Above, Fractale, Skat Dance. I love Skat Dance. He was the protagonist in Tatami Galaxy. Really? Yeah. Well, that's new. I'm excited for him. But yeah, uh, that's our that's our red cool. at least. I am okay with his civilian suit. I think it looks okay. I uh, this doesn't show, but he has like shorts, and I sort of love the shorts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's our red. And we have our yellow gown, mm-hmm. who's of course based on a gown yeah. ranger's neck. Yeah, voiced by Yuki Kaji. Uh, who is Juran based on? Um, Z Rangers. Okay. Ah, yeah, I see it now. Uh, Yuki Kaji. He's, yeah, Gaon is Aaron from Attack on Titan. Oh, dear. Uh, Oh, and Alibaba from Maggie. Todoroki from uh, MHA. Somebody in Fairy Tale. I never watched Fairy Tale. That's like the show full of filler. That fairy tale is just full of filler, and I'm not okay with it. Okay, what else we got? Oran High School Host Club. Everybody, everybody. Um, El Casado de la Bruja, Major Yatterman from 2008, uh, Yozakura Quartet, Inazuma Eleven, Fairy Tale. He was, uh, for, for any fans of Fairy Tale, he was uh, Leon Bastia in that show, Durarara, um, Okami San and her Seven Companions. I like that show. Um, I might have recognized it for, from Dorara, but of course, uh, I actually watched that. Lupin one. the Third, woman called Fujiko Mine. I actually watched Dorara in English because everybody said this is one of those shows you should watch in yep. English. Uh, Aaron and Attack on Titan, Pokemon X and Y, Nobunaga the Fool, Noligami, Nisekoi, Black Bullet. He's also in Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, he's Melodious in Seven, uh, Meliodas in Seven Deadly Sins. 
I know Matt likes that show. Yes, he does. I never watched it. Uh, he's in One Punch Man. As who? Uh, Speed of Sound Sonic. He's Sonic? Ah! <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable. As who? Koichi. That is Koichi. Mm-hmm. As I was like, someone told me I wouldn't recognize the voice. He also voices Phoenix Wright. Oh, in the anime? Yeah. Yeah. That's our yellow. Good stuff. I also like his jacket. I like I, I like the vest. Yeah. I like the, the vest, vest and great. I like the suit. Looks very good. The civilian form, it's good. Uh, we have Magine. Okay. Yeah. And she's based on Magi Rangers? Yep. Voiced by Yume uh, Mia. Uh, Yume Miyamoto, sorry. Uh, who voiced Rika in SSS Gridman. Um, that's really all I know her from let's myself. Let's see what else we got. Um, goes, uh, let's see, SSS Gridman, Doro. She doesn't have as many. Doesn't have as many credits as, as the others. Mm. Uh, Must have found her somewhere. She's going to be in the upcoming Godzilla. Godzilla, oh, Godzilla Singular Point. Oh, okay. It'll be interesting to see her. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially with, you know, I'm not going to say relatively unknown, but it's just like someone fairly new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be an interesting. Not a lot from her credits that I've either seen or recognized, so. And we have Rune, who has glasses. He does. It works into the actual... Yeah, I see. Bokinger, uh, neck, but still. Ah, his voice actor, though, I feel like we should know a lot more about him. It's Takia Sato. Um, I feel like someone out there watching this is going, oh my gosh, him! He was Caesar! And JoJo Part 2. Oh, okay. Ah, the best. He also voiced a character Scoo, in Carl by Vanguard. He was Tatsuya in Gundam Bill Fighters, which mm-hmm. is the best season of Bill Fighters. The first one uh, is the best. He was also in Haikyuu, another one of Matt's favorites. Psychopath 2, Assassination Classroom, Garo Crimson Moon. Who was he? Uh, Katsuragi no Hisiori. Okay. Um, D. Grayman, Blood of Wars, Super Lovers 2, Precure. <laughs> I'm just reading what's on here. No, I'm just saying, for those of us who have watched Super Lovers, we know how problematic it uh, is, but we can't stop. <laughs> Amatora. Uh, Doki Doki Break here. Medica Box. Mysterious Girlfriend X. Chihaya Furu. Ungo. Tiger and Bunny. Who is he in Tiger and Bunny? Um, it says on-site male live condition, so it might have been a background voice. On-site male number four. Fair enough. Uh, Tatami Galaxy, Demon King Daimo, Shangri-La, Comfer, Hajime no Ippo. Oh. I didn't watch the reboot when they did that. I've seen the original, of course. Uh, this is the reboot. Yeah. Doggo 13, Birdie the Mighty. It seems like they're just a whole bunch of smaller girls. Yeah. I'm, but yeah. I'm um, what's on here. We did hear their voices. Okay. During the actual press conference. And they do sound good. So it'll be they a... They got f- professional voice actors, so good on them. It'll be a fun time to see uh, this I show. I wish America would learn that lesson. <laughs> um, there has been some talk of a lot of past into actors wanting to come back specifically because... Because all the mechs are there. The world is there. <laughs> they want to do sort of, I guess, another Gokaiger type thing. Gokaiger, but with robots. Yes. Gokai bots. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a fun show to be in... Like to actually watch is going to be an interesting one. Oh, well, that it certainly will be. Yeah, because it's going to be very, very different. So it's going to be very interesting when it starts on March 7th. Mm. And we'll see what happens immediately after because I know, you know, they're going back on lockdown for at least a couple more weeks. So good for them. We're going to see what happens. And uh, as for our first impressions after the first three episodes, as per usual, we shall relate to you what we think of the show itself. Yes. Thus far. Yes. Let us know what you think about everything about Zenkaiju that we... Oh! The opening! Guess who sings the opening? Who sings the opening? Ultraman Dino. <laughs> I know it's Heisei, but... That song... Oh, no, the actual actor. I know, but... Oh, 
Oh, you mean the actual actor is Dinah? Yeah. Not the singer who sings Dinah. Okay. That's still cool. Yeah. <laughs> he came out there like one of the things he did. Oh, of course he did. I was thinking like, you're in a toy car It's stuff. me! <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, that's cool. I didn't know he sang. Yeah. Dinah just shows up every once in a while. It doesn't matter where you're in. He'll show uh, up somewhere. Get, get, get that work, son. Yeah. Get that work. He has five <laughs> kids. So... <laughs> Does he now? Get your money. <laughs> but yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below of the Zenkaiger press conference, the trailer. Um, and join us when, I guess, Do we March. have anything about the plot? Not really. Okay, then. <laughs> they didn't say a lot about the plot there. It's like we have the... the uh, in this story, our heroes were used full force, full throttle, to stop the enemies who are trying to destroy the parallel universes. One hero known as Zen Kaiser with the heart of justice will stand up to a preposterous giant mass of evil who has managed to break into their... I know, that's the great word. Preposterous! That's preposterous giant mass of evil. But we don't really have a lot about it. All we know is like based on parallel okay, worlds. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I'll show you the trailer, but it's like he gets his powers from Akaranger. So, it'll be fun. But yeah, join us on... Um, I guess, I'm not even... Probably the 28th of March for our first impressions. Mm-hmm. Uh, see you everybody then. Don't forget to join us all the things. Bye, everybody. Thank you all for watching.